Hi everyone, let's see in this video tutorial every step to secure, protect and encrypt document in SharePoint using sensitivity label. Let's get started. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams in the browser open. The goal is to use sensitivity label protect and secure documents in SharePoint. But before to do it, let me show you how you can deal with sensitivity label. First of all, you can apply a sensitivity label to a theme, for example, in Microsoft Teams. I have this theme here called sensitivity label. If I click on the ellipsis button and then edit theme, there is this field. This field give me the chance to apply a specific sensitivity label. In this case, I have two sensitivity labels, confidential and secret. You can select, for example, secret and then Click on done and this sensitivity label will be applied to the team. Now it's important to know that if you follow this step in team or in SharePoint, for example, let me jump on in this other tab. This is a communication site that I have here open. If I go in the wheel icon and then on the link site information, I have this functionality at site level available sensitivity. If I click here, again, I can choose and pick up a sensitivity label that I want to apply. Now, by doing that, I'm able to define the behavior with guests, for example. What happens if the SharePoint site or the team is shared with guests? In this case, the sensitivity label will have specific rules to deal with guests, for example. But if I want to secure files and documents in SharePoint, all I need to do is go in the document library documents and directly from here define a sensitivity label. For example, for this document library, I can go on the wheel icon on top and then clicking on library settings, I can define and pick up a default sensitivity label, securing and encrypting my files, for example, if the encryption is included in this sensitivity label. Let's say that I'm going to select secret for this document library, and now I'm going to save this configuration. Now this sensitivity label is applied for this specific document library. This gives me the chance to have a flexible scenario where I have one document library with secret as sensitivity label and other document library which have no sensitivity label. This could be uh, a scenario, for example. Now that I apply this sensitivity label, I want to click on show height columns by adding a new column. And now here I'm going to make visible the out of the box column called sensitivity. Let me click on apply and now this column shows up. If I open a document, an existing document that is available here, let me click on this document, automatically SharePoint will apply a sensitivity label to this document. Here we go. So let me now select this icon which is the typical icon for sensitivity label. And as you can see, I have now secret applied because I applied this sensitivity label to my document library. Let me go back to the document library uh, just before to show you another use case. The, the, the value here is available, secret. It means that now this sensitivity label is applied to this document because when you set a sensitivity label to a document library, this is not immediately applied for the existing documents. You have to open the document and once you have done that, the sensitivity label will be applied. Now let's say that I'm going to add another document, this one for example, this Word document that I have on my PC, and then let me set also this other file, this other PowerPoint file. Now, if I open another document, for example, this one private channel, I can see that clicking again on the sensitivity icon, I have this label already applied, secret. Let me go back, let me open PowerPoint. 
and the same we have the same user experience going here i have secret applied and behind the sensitivity label i can define every kind of rule for example the document is encrypted only specific users can co-author the document and and so on you can specify many other rules behind a sensitivity label but this is the point this is how it works sensitivity label on document library important to know is that if you define a sensitivity label for a team for example this sensitivity label will be not propagated to every document library of the SharePoint site. This is really important to know for the moment. There's no kind of automatic way to apply sensitivity label. So you have to define a process and then you have to take care of this thing. The same thing if I go on this um, site collection and if I go on a site information here i have the sensitivity field available i can set secret for example now this label it's applied to this site collection i have now this uh, sensitivity label here available but this it doesn't mean that this sensitivity label will be applied for all document libraries contained in this site collection all right we have seen how to secure docs in sharepoint if you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.